Hello friends. My name is Satyam. Today we will discuss water cycle. Water cycle, the continuous process by which water is circulated throughout the earth and the atmosphere through evaporation, condensation, precipitation and the transpiration of plants and animals. Water cycle is also called hydrologic cycle. Stages of water cycle. There are four stages of water cycle. Those are evaporation or transpiration, condensation, precipitation and collection. Here in the picture you can see all the four processes. This is the process of evaporation in which the water goes to vapor. And this is the process of condensation in which the vapor turns to liquid droplets. And this is the process of precipitation in which it comes back to the earth. And this is runoff process, a part of collection. And this is infiltration, also a part of collection. Transpiration and evaporation. Transpiration is the process where plants absorb water through the roots and then give off water vapor through pores in their leaves. The water we give to the plants are absorbed by the plants and it gives away almost 90% of what it gets to atmosphere through the pores in its leaf called stomata. The rest is used for photosynthesis about which we will discuss in another video. Evaporation is defined as the process of a liquid changing into a gas. It occurs when warmth from the sun causes water from oceans, lakes, streams, ponds, ice and soil to raise into the air and turn into water vapor. Evaporation is the transfer of water from the surface of the earth to the atmosphere. The main factors affecting evaporation are temperature, humidity, wind speed and solar radiation. The principal source of water vapor is oceans but evaporation also of occurs in soil, snow and ice. Evaporation from snow and ice is known as sublimation. However, evaporation is a slow process. That is why we rarely notice it. Condensation The change of a gas or vapor to a liquid either by cooling or by being subjected to increased pressure. When water vapor cools in the atmosphere, for example, it condenses into tiny drops of water, which forms clouds. Condensation may take place as soon as the air contains more water vapor than it can receive from a free water surface through evaporation. As we go higher from the surface of the earth, it gets cooler when the air moves up. It gets cooler and cooler. And the water vapor present in it condenses to form tiny drops of water called droplets. But these water vapor need a solid particle to condense with. So the dust in the air is used by water vapor to condense. These tiny drops that remain floating in the air appear to us as clouds. Precipitation The form of water such as rain, snow, or sleet that condenses from the atmosphere becomes too heavy to remain suspended and falls to the earth's surface through rain and snowfall. Different atmospheric conditions are responsible for different forms of precipitation. When the clouds get heavy and can't carry any more water, the water droplets come back to earth. This process is called precipitation. This may come down as rain, snow or hail. Collection Collection is done through surface runoff and infiltration. Some water percolates into the soil by infiltration and the remainder flows directly as surface runoff into the sea. Some of the infiltrated precipitation may later percolate into streams as groundwater runoff. Conclusion Water cycle makes fresh water available in the form of rain. The sea water is highly salty, which is not fit for drinking or for the growth of plants. But the rain water is pure water. It can be used by animals as well as plants.
वाटर साइकिल कीप्स द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस कॉन्स्टेंट दिस इज बिकॉज द वाटर रिमूव फ्रॉम द अर्थ ड्यूरिंग एवापोरेशन एंड ट्रांसपोरेशन पुट बैक टू द अर्थ ड्यूरिंग रेन एंड स्नोफॉल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज कमेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक